Hey, how's it going? In the shop with West Coast Johnny. So I'm really dying to, to continue work on the scamp project. Um, and I was just about to do it, but a buddy of mine who lives in Fresno, California, uh, he needs an engine. And I have this engine right here. This is a 1959 Ford engine. And I have two of them, same year, same size. And I'm putting one in a, in a little hot rod, but my buddy needs this for his uh, 54 Ford uh, Crown Victoria. And when I was gonna deliver it to him in my old trailer, lo and behold, I noticed the floor is falling out. And then the more I lo I'm looking at this trailer, uh, it, 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 it needs a lot of things. And it's an old trailer from the 50s has an old six lug Chevy rear end and all this and that. So I'll show it here right now. All right, well, here's the trailer. I took the tailgate off. It was a piece of plywood. It's, it's just a piece of plywood. This is uh, either late forties, early fifties. It has the old fenders and old has a really old rear end in there. Look at those six lug. And it has these strange little designs kind of cut into them. See that? And uh, it's interesting, I don't know why, but it has like, gives it like a little shape. But the spare tire was bolted literally to the back of that. They drilled a hole. This whole floor, the engine is actually, the engine that was sitting here for about a year was slowly pushing the floor through. I had that motor, you know, there it is. And it was in here and it just pushed its way through kind of. So we're gonna replace the floor. The other thing we're gonna do, these fenders are up too high. Um, so we're going to lower them down a little bit so they're more functional. They're super old steel and that's where the spare tire was bolted. So I'm going to go ahead and mount a spare tire bracket that I have for a spare. We're just going to kind of clean this thing up. We might paint it up, you know, just make it nice. Uh, we're going to grease everything and we're going to fix the tailgate. Uh, I have some big these big hooks and then the, those there was a chalk that went in the center i used to uh i used to tow motorcycles a lot i had uh when i moved from the bay area to san diego i had three harley davidsons to bring down one at a time so they all went in this trailer but now the trailer needs help i don't even know if the lights are still working so it's been sitting out in the field for the last year and everything's just kind of delaminated yeah the I had some like welded on glass reflectors that are all kind of busted up. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. And we're gonna start work on it though. We're gonna start on it so we can deliver this motor and start on the Scamp trailer. All right, so I took all the carriage bolts out. Some of them were galvanized and some weren't and they rusted. But probably gonna have to cut some of them off. But this old thing needs a lot of help. It, like I said, it's a cool 40s, 50s trailer. But uh, anyways, let's start, let's start uh, the disassembly. Right. Well, I might have to unbolt some more bolts. Well, I got it pretty well torn down to just the floor is left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the floor, but I have a bunch of bolts to cut off that were just really kind of rusted. See all these bolts. So we're gonna cut all those off. And uh, so now I'm gonna sand the whole frame down to bare metal and replace the wood and we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, well now I'm gonna take the fenders off. 
these old fenders off of the side of the trailer. Whoever put these on though, they used hardware that just rusted. It was just, you know, some steel hardware. And then unfortunately on the other side, he used carriage bolts and you can see how the bolts all rusted. So now I can't, I can't even get them off. So what I'm doing, see that I'm just, just cutting them off with this, so I'm just cutting them off, see? And I'm using this little tool right here, my multi-master. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these fenders off so we can make our pattern for the plywood for the side of our trailer. It's an old one. I got to pull some dents out of it and it looks like I got to, I'm going to have to uh, kind of bend this in a little bit and weld it from the back or maybe from the front. Okay. Well, they're just old. Well, I went ahead and I installed the new plywood and I start, I primed the frame. I'm painting it. I'm sealing all kinds of little areas. I just don't water to get behind things. Um, I still got to put the fenders on and uh, prime the inside, paint it, and then finish painting this side. And, uh, you know, I got to put the fenders on, like I said. And anyways, the stuff I'm using, this Dynaflex 230 stuff is really, really good. It's for, it's for windows and doors and siding and trim. Elastomeric, 100% waterproof. So, and it lasts for at least 20 years. So that's all I need. So anyways, that's how it's looking. All right, I got our fenders put on. I went ahead and I sanded them down and I sprayed them a canyon black. It's like a satin. And we went ahead and bolted them up with all new hardware. The only thing is uh, I can't sandblast these rims because a buddy of mine's got to hit the sandblaster right now. So uh, that's okay, because I got to take these down and get new tires. Uh, I found a pair of eight ply tires over on Broadway. There's a place that has them for uh, $85 a piece and that's mounted, balanced and installed and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the tires on, get our little hubcaps, finish painting the inside, uh, put our reflectors on, our handles on, and then we're gonna be all finished. Well, upon further inspection, I, you know, I knew there's a bunch of webs when I took the wheels off, but as I'm looking at them, I'm realizing, see those? little things that is brown widow egg sacs and a brown widow is like a black widow except they're brown and they have an orange hourglass um, under their abdomen and but then on this side see those little things that look like little balloons there's like one there one there those are actual black widow egg sacs so we had black widows and brown widows living behind and inside of our wheels here um, that might even be one in there Anyways, I'm gonna clean all this up. The last thing I want is those things living inside my wheels. So I can't, really can't think of anything worse. So uh, we're gonna clean all this up. Okay, well, I'm set up back here. I got a uh, sandblaster. See that? It's a Sears sandblaster. And it's really cool. Um, I've only used it once. I just bought it bought it about two hours ago on from someone on Craigslist up in Vista, California, because my the other sandblaster left the shop yesterday. Um, Paula needed it. So anyways, now we have a second one 
It's full of sand and I'm gonna start spraying. I didn't like the way the paint turned out on this one wheel, so I'm just sanding it back down and we're gonna respray it. Hey, Happy New Year, January 1st, 2021. I'm finished with the trailer. It's right behind me. Let's go check it out. Well, the trailer's done, and I uh, I really like the spare tire mount. That's really cool. Uh, so I am waiting for... I got a vinyl spare tire cover. It's like a black tire cover, and it's, it's on the way. It's in the mail right now. So I threw some uh, marker lights on yesterday, got those on, wired them up, and the wheels turned out amazing. And I finally found a pair of 1940s Chevrolet hubcaps um, because that's what this rear end came off of. Uh, it was either a passenger car or a, or a truck in 1940s Chevrolet. So those are on the way and our license plate, I think, turned out great. Look at that. Black and yellow. And then the polished uh, reflectors on the back. And got our galvanized handles. I, I put my those hooks back in. Those are really good for tie downs. Another thing, so here's the tailgate. It's a piece of plywood. I went ahead and I cut that little design across the top to kind of match the one on the sides of the trailer. But what I wanted to say, see the bare edges of the plywood? It's really important that what you do is not paint those, okay? You can paint the front and back of the plywood, but don't paint the sides. What I did, I sanded them all down, and I'm gonna go ahead and use some spar varnish because, um, you know, the Achilles heel of plywood is its exposed edges, and when they ever get in kind of moisture, so I'm going to protect this with the spar varnish so I never have to worry about it. The tailgate delaminating. Man, I love that color. That's called, oh, what's that called? I already forgot. Lunar yellow. Lunar. And the lights, those are really bright. I, I, I have to use LEDs and I always solder all my connections. You gotta solder everything, I'm telling you. Uh, let's see. Well, that's about it. So I'm gonna go throw that motor in the back of this thing so I can deliver it. Well, my spare tire cover came and I put it on. That's pretty cool, I love that. Unfortunately, my hubcaps did not fit. That came so for the time being I'm just gonna run it like that black and yellow with the little uh, chrome lug nuts just you know and then I put four coats of spar varnish on here on our tailgate so I'm gonna shut that down and then this trailer is done <laughs> 